Hey guys, Martin again from Sears. I'm gonna show you guys a quick uh, how-to um, setup guide on how I put together this um, wireless DMX battery-powered um, LED module. Um, I previously made a video about this and I'll show you how it works and what it does and all that stuff. So for, the, for those of you that haven't seen that video, basically what this is, it powers up your DMX pixel LED strips um, and it receives DMX signal wirelessly and everything's wireless. So this is all there is to it, no extra wires and it runs your strips um, together. So I'm going to show you a set of photos. I'm going to kind of explain um, what I did. Um, so here we go, guys. Okay, so here on this fo first photo, um, there are the materials and supplies um, needed to put together um, this uh, this uh, particular module. So you just need some wire strippers, you need a solder iron, you need some solder, you need a hot glue gun, um, then you need the different parts. Uh, the most important thing is the battery itself. In this case, we're using a two cell 5400 milliamp uh, lithium polymer battery. Um, then you need your DMX cleanup circuit. They, they usually come with a strip if you buy a, a, one of these strips. Um, then you need an address module, um, which is the, the one we're using here is a CRC address module. Then you need a current, uh, I mean a power regulator, um, so that you go from your 8.4 volts to your uh, five volts needed to power up the whole system. Uh, wireless DMX uh, receiver antenna, and then you just got your cable and stuff for the address module and all that. So that's pretty much the tools and materials that you'll be needing for this. The first thing you wanna do is um, choose a set of connectors that are gonna go from your battery to your regulator. The regulator is gonna be what takes in all the power, and that's gonna be your main source of connection. So be sure to pick out a good a connector that you like and in this case I'm using XT60s I just like them because they're really easy to solder on and they just work very well alright so so the next thing you want to do once you have all your um, stuff laid out and all that you're pretty much gonna mount everything on the battery itself um, you could do like an external board to mount everything but in this case I just did it on the battery uh, for sake of um, keeping everything really nice and tight. So with, with your uh, hot glue gun, you just want to uh, glue down the regulator and the um, actual um, address module, how you see here in this picture. That's, that's just the best way I found out of how everything fits there. So be sure to use plenty of glue. It's not going to uh, harm anything and it'll just keep everything together. Um, the next thing you want to do is on the output side of the regulator, the actual regulated size of uh, side of five volts. Um, that's where you will connect the power for everything. So you need to supply power to the address module. Um, you also need to supply power to your DMX uh, cleanup board, um, which then supplies power to the actual LED strip. And then you also want to supply power um, to your wireless DMX antenna. In this case, we're using the connector from the power supply and we just solder on everything on there as you see there. Once you solder everything together like that on the on the output side of the regulator, um, you then want to use some heat shrink to um, make sure you insulate everything and you don't have any shorts or anything going on like that. So once you have done that, the next thing you want to do is solder your uh, DMX um, signal. So basically, the address module has, has an input side and an output side of DMX. On the output side of DMX, you'll actually cut off the, the XLR connector, and you'll have your three wires, and then you have your black wire, which is ground, and you have two yellow wires. You just gotta figure out which one's that a positive and which one's that a negative. But these go to the cleanup circuit of the strip, and there's a blue wire, which is your ground, and there's a white, and there's a green. And then you also have your positive and negative, which is uh, red and black, but those actually, you previously soldered them on to the output side of the regulator. So make sure you solder them together. You use some heat shrink to insulate everything and use some um, zip ties to tidy up everything, keep everything nice and organized. So after you've done that, um, the next thing uh, you wanna do is uh, you're gonna get your wireless DMX uh, receiver antenna and you're actually going to glue it with hot glue to the side of the battery just how you see here on this picture and then um, you also want to make sure you position everything down nice and tight you also want to connect your um, DMX um, input uh, of the address module to the actual DMX the, the wireless DMX antenna there that you see there just like you see there in the picture so make sure you position everything down um, if you need to use some hot glue to hold down the cables and all that, you could do so. Um, so just make sure everything is nice and tight. There's nothing sticking out in odd ways or anything like that. 
So once you've done that, what I did, I got some uh, three inch uh, heat shrink covering and I just slid it over the whole thing and then I just uh, shrunk it down. I kind of did it in steps so that I wouldn't get it too hot, um, but it'll just shrink everything down. Once you shrink everything down, you're going to cover up uh, some things like the little knobs in the address module. So before it cools down, you want to cut the, that out so that you have access to the knobs there. And then you also want to um, cut out the holes on the side for the wireless DMX uh, power uh, connector to go on there. Um, and once you have done that, um, here's another picture of the other holes that you want to cut out. So the wireless DMX module, you cut out the hole for the power, and there's a hole that has the little um, button in there to change frequency, and then you have your power LED and indicator LED um, that you also cut a hole out for. So that's pretty much all there is to it. It's not very complicated at all. Um, you pretty much just want to make sure that you follow all the right polarities for everything for your DMX and your power and also be sure that the regulator you're using for the battery depending how much strip you're going to use with it you, you want to make sure that it's going to stand up to the amount of strip you're using um, other than that that's pretty much all there is to it also in, in this case I added an extra 5 volt output here so that I could take a wire and travel all the way to the end of the strip and connect so I could power from both ends if I'm using a long uh, section of, of, uh, of, uh, of strip if you don't want to have a cable going all the way down, you can build another pack just like this, but with just a regulator and a battery, no need for any DMX stuff, because all it's going to do is power up the other end of the strip. So like that, you, can, you could have completely wireless um, strip that is going to run on its own. So I'll show you guys real quick, um, more or less, what it looks like here. So if you guys just bear with me for one second. And I could show you guys. Connect power, we connect the, the receiver right there. We connect our strips on this side. And there you have it. Um, so, right now I got my Matrix running, and as you can see, completely wireless, and it's a pixel control um, style effect that you got going on here. And you know, it's just Madrix. You just run it as if you have cables going to it. Um, the only thing you got to keep track of here, though, is going to be your um, actual your your battery. We don't have a low voltage cutoff in this circuit setup. Um, although I will be coming out with a low voltage cutoff, which will then protect your battery because lipos, you don't want to drain them all the way down because then that's it. You ruin them. So. You know, 50, 60, 70, 80 dollar battery, you definitely don't want to be ruining those. Um, but pretty much that's all there is to it. As you can see, it's running really smooth, really nice, completely wireless. You could set this up at a party, um, anywhere where you would need something wireless with DMX and power and all that. So, that's pretty much all there is to it, guys. If you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, please drop us a comment there in the YouTube comment box. Also, don't forget to check out our website and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you all for watching.